morning my beautiful people welcome back to another moving vlog so it has been about a week and a half since i moved in i'm finally feel like i'm starting to get settled most of my things are all unpacked and like i'm starting a furniture shop which is actually what i'm heading out to do this morning al and i are gonna grab coffee and then i don't know if he's gonna come with me but i'm gonna wander around to some furniture stores that are just around downtown to start actually looking at pieces in person but before I head out, my new dinnerware just arrived from Fable. So I wanted to do a big unboxing of like all of my new dinnerware before I head out. Literally this giant box arrived downstairs and I had to carry it up myself. It is super heavy, filled with all of my new plates and dishes. So let's unbox. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, let's get to opening this. Okay, so many boxes. There are literally so many boxes in here. I don't know which one to start with. <laughs> so all of the stuff I got from Fable, I got in the speckled white. Um, maybe we'll do, I feel like these are the big plates. Let's start with these guys. Maybe it's easier if I just like unbox everything and then show you guys. I don't know. <gasps> Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. These are stunning. You probably can't even see, okay? I'm gonna have to give you guys a close-up. These are literally gorgeous. Okay, so this is what the plates look like close-up. They are all like these little speckled. I am so obsessed. Let's open. These are the salad plates. More plates, but a bit smaller. I love just all the details are so pretty. Like I I think I made a good choice with this dinnerware. This is stunning. Okay, that one I can't take out right now. So I'm gonna finish unpacking all of these and then I will show you guys everything. Here's everything that I got from Fable Homeware. So as you can see, everything is kind of like this really light speckled white, but everything is unique. So like these pasta bowls are like way more speckled than some of the other things. Like everything is unique, handcrafted, and isn't super streamlined. Like the bowls are a little bit different shapes. I'm honestly just so obsessed and I really wanted to share my home good pickups with you guys because they just came in. I love the little cups. And I got the carafe as well for like water, juice, whatever. Like just picture with a brunch with friends. Like this is literally going to be so cute. But that is all the home updates that I have for you guys right now. So we are heading out to go get coffee and do a little in-person furniture browsing because so far I've only done online furniture kind of shopping and looking around. So I'm really excited to go in person and check out some pieces. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I just really wanted to like go look around and see kind of what I'm drawn to and like what's comfortable. And I don't know, this is the fun part, you know? So let's head out.
really need to get is a couch. I don't think EQ3 is really my style. I'm loving the, the Buchla material, Buchle, I'm really not sure how to pronounce it. But also like I'm very into greens and green velvet, but I'm thinking I want just a neutral couch and maybe do like an accent chair in like a green velvet or something like that. Because we are very feeling the greens for just interior design right now. And in general, I feel like I've always been into greens. So that is what I'm thinking, but on to the next store. don't love the like giant piece but if it had like another this size over there and then white I feel like would be perfect. Another thing I'm thinking is I really want some sort of like funky fun bookshelf to put more of my books on like display. This little book tree is like a little interesting situation. I feel like it's kind of funky. I just don't know if it'll fit enough books because it's not super tall and it's also like not very long. So I don't know, but it's kind of funky and I thought it's kind of cute considering that. was going to quickly check out is a Montauk sofa but they ended up being closed today so I might just browse online for them and then there's a few other online ones I'm gonna look at like Cardeal and I'm trying to think of some other ones but the main thing that I need right now is a sofa so that is first but there was a lot of cute like console tables and stuff that I really liked but I think that's gonna be it for today and for my furniture shopping today Good morning. So today, mom and I are going to go pick up the stools that I ordered from Buclair, as well as we're making like a little Ikea run to a full-sized Ikea, not the Ikea downtown that I just did last week to pick up a few little things. My main goal today is to try and get some organizational like cupboard, drawer situation, something for the closet so I can just maximize the storage in there. My parents also gave me, I don't know if you guys can see back there, but they're giving me some of their old patio furniture so I can just have something on my balcony for now because I wasn't planning on doing my balcony until next summer, furnishing it then, but they gave me a little two-seater chair and a little table so I have something to put out there for now. I actually do really like that one because I do I actually really love the like tones of blue but it's like yeah very light that's really pretty I don't need a rug right now though I have like a big attraction to this like green as we can see green nails the green velvet because I'm thinking of getting the Mario Bellini chair but in like a dark forest green and then the matching pillows I'm obsessed but first time trying the chocolate cream cold brew. I did it without the vanilla syrup, so let's see if it's, let's see how it goes. Ooh, okay. I know a lot of people were saying it was way too sweet, but without the vanilla syrup, it just tastes like, like chocolate almond milk kind of. It's really good. Pictures it is. 
Growing far from the new you The closer to memories It's not a bad new feeling But it's tearing apart The inside of the streaming service You at the front of my heart Oh, please Help me conceive This whole space is, this entire space is 420 square foot, but we were saying that this kitchen and like living room layout is very similar to what I want to do because I want to do like built-ins on the wall, not necessarily above the TV, but with the island situation in the middle and then kitchen obviously at the back is the layout of my place. And I, like it doesn't feel cramped, like I really like this layout. So it's helping visualize kind of how, when I renovate, I want to do things. And I just really like the feel and vibes. It like feels cozy, even though it's really small, but like doesn't feel too cramped. So it's really nice. semi-successful Ikea trip. We ended up getting the Hubbit mirror, but not the like four cube storage because they were all out of all the white ones. So I might have to order them online or just come back another time and try and get those. But I did get the bins to go inside them. next day y'all my bangs are doing something really wacky right now i thought i'd do a few home updates we're gonna unbox the mirror put it up and also just show you guys some of the things i ended up picking up yesterday because i never ended up doing a haul after my mom and i came back here it was pretty late we had dinner she went home and i was just exhausted passed out so i didn't really do any updates so let me show you guys so here are the lovely stools. They go so well with the kitchen. I'm so happy with how it turned out. They look so good. And then also, like I was mentioning, my parents gave me this little two-seater patio set as well as the little table that matches for now because they got new patio furniture last summer and just had had this kind of sitting nowhere for now. So it's nice for the meantime until I find patio furniture I really like. At least I can sit outside when I want to, which is very nice. They were all sold out of that like cube storage thing, but I do plan on buying it. So I still bought four of the Ikea bins that go on that storage thing just to put stuff in for now. I'm thinking I'll open these guys up and like kind of start putting things in them. I'm not too sure what's gonna go in them. I really, I don't know. So we're gonna try and figure that out. And then I also got these two garbage bins from Ikea because all of my garbage pails are like mismatch random. So I thought this would be nice for under the sink, one garbage, one recycle. And then I also grabbed this little plastic bin that was literally like 50 cents to put in my cutlery drawer just for some miscellaneous like measuring cups and spoons and then my mom wanted to stop in home sense so we stopped in home sense and of course i picked up something 
I ended up getting this rug for the front door because I really wanted like a little welcome mat. So I haven't put it down to see if I actually like it in the space yet. So I'm going to set it down there now and see if I do like it. It was a pretty good price. It was only 30 bucks. And like you'll see when I set it, it's pretty big but I loved the, the pattern. It's very neutral, kind of like a warm gray, a little bit of taupey in there, and I feel like it really goes with the kitchen. So let's set it up in the front hallway here and see if I actually like it. Okay, I actually feel like that fits the space and fits the vibe pretty well. Originally, I was just wanting like a small one to go there. So this is a little bit bigger than I intended, but it'll actually be nice if more than one person is coming over because they can all stand on the mat and take their shoes off there. So I think I'll keep that. I think it looks good. So now for the main thing that I wanted to get to today, which is unboxing the mirror and setting that up against the wall. I'm not gonna hang it up, I don't think. I think I just wanna unbox it and like lean it against the wall for now because there's no other full body mirrors in my space. I actually got rid of the gold one that you guys always asked where it was from. It was actually my grandpa's whose dad made it. So it was like an antique family heirloom mirror that I absolutely loved, but just wasn't big enough for the space. Like it just wasn't tall enough, didn't flow well. So we replaced it, which I'm really kind of sad about, but let's unbox the mirror and see how it fits the space. The way that this mirror just completely opened up the space is insane. It filled that wall so nicely. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm, I am obsessed. This is the outfit of the day check mirror now because it is my only full body mirror in this place. So here we are. This is about all the boxes that are left in my apartment and I have yet to unbox my Smeg stuff yet and put it up just because there's not a lot of counter space, but I'm gonna unbox them right now and find some way to set them up on my counter because I really just want them out, they're so cute. I'm thinking for now it makes sense if I put the kettle over here with the espresso machine until I get like a bar cart situation to do a little coffee station with the espresso machine and then eventually I'll probably move the toaster over here but for now I think the toaster is going to go over here and then I'm gonna move that get rid of that put the spices in the drawer and just like I'll eventually get new spice jars and get rid of the spice rack altogether. as much as I think it's cute I just don't have as much counter space as I did at my old place so I'm really trying to figure out what works and what I like actually out on the counter here I feel like this looks okay like if I do the toaster somehow in this corner situation over there i feel like that looks good i don't know if i'm gonna keep that cutting board there but for now this looks cute i feel like this goes it it works I just filled three of the four bins. I have one empty still just because I don't really have space in my closet right now for it. So let me give you a closet update and show you what I did. 
So I put purses in both those bins up there. And then down here is kind of just a mess of shoe boxes and shoes right now. So I filled this with some little heels and sandals. And then I put away all of my shoe boxes over here. So when that Calyx Ikea shelf is back in stock, it's going to go here. All the shoe boxes will go up there. Those will obviously come down here to go in the shelf and then I can organize it a bit more. But this is kind of the current situation. I feel like once the shelf is in here, I can figure it out a bit more. But really, I just don't know what to do with like random shoes and shoe boxes that I have because I don't really have a shoe organization system right now. So that's kind of the current closet situation and current closet update. But I also have been doing a little bit of online furniture shopping and I wanted to show you guys the couches that I've kind of been eyeing and trying to decide between. None of which I can currently buy or are in stock. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But let me show you kind of the inspiration and what I'm thinking. So this one from Cardeal is my absolute favorite right now. I very much want a very modular sofa, something that's curved, very soft edges, no square corners. I am kind of into this one from Rove Concepts, but I love the like beveling of this one, how there's like these like indents, I guess, whereas this one doesn't really have that. This is another one I'm considering, but what I would do is modify it and get two open ends because again, I like that like swerve and like curvature. I don't mind this one. This is from DWR because again, it has that like beveling, I guess. I think that's what it's called and it's still like kind of soft, but isn't curved. And then this one from Eternity Modern, it would be more of this color here, more of the creamy. But again, like I love that curve and the swoop. But this one really has my heart right now and this is the one that I'm considering most, but it's not in stock until August 6th. So I'm still trying to decide. I have a bit of time till it's back in stock to figure out if this is what I really want. But I think I'm gonna end off this moving vlog here just because I feel like there's not gonna be much else update wise for a little bit till I get a couch, till I get some more furniture, TV situation. And I'm basically all moved in. There's like one box with my juicer and a pot because I don't have any space for it that I have left to unbox. So no more unboxing or anything either. So I'm gonna end off the third moving vlog here. Stay tuned. I feel like the next moving vlog probably won't be for a bit, like I said, until I get a couch, probably sometime in August. So this might be the end of the moving vlogs for a little bit, but I hope you guys have been enjoying. We will probably get back to just regular daily vlogs and daily content and yeah. So I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.